The San Leandro Marina is one of our jewels. We have three parcels of land there that the city still owns. We need to bring development to the marina that's going to be sustainable, that's going to be viable, that's going to bring an additional income into our city constantly so that we can sustain our marina. Our marina is, uh, right now our budget is a four to five million dollar deficit and just to do the dredging, it would cost the city more than $15 million. We need to make sure the community is involved with any decision that we make regarding the marina and let them know how it would impact any other services that are now being um, budgeted by the city. Given the re-estimated costs of a full dredge as presented to the council last month, Right now, a full dredge does not pencil out. Even if you exclude the deferred maintenance portion, assuming you can get that from Calboke loans and elsewhere, a full dredge is still going to cost over a couple million a year amortized, and that's if you get permission under the AB 32 guidelines to have that number of truck round trips. What the city has been doing in investigating whether or not they can barge the spoils out uh, it past the bay is a beneficial step. We need to see the results of that. We need to see whether the Army Corps of Engineers will allow us to do a smaller dredge and use the money allocated for a full dredge to do maintenance dredges. Right now it doesn't pencil out that the city's making all the right moves and it's investigating the possibilities to see what else can be done. Most of the decisions will happen before any of us uh, take office. Again, the dredging decision has to be made by October of this year. Uh, again, there is debate as to whether we keep a bar boat harbor, whether it's a full six foot dredge, whether it's a three foot dredge and a smaller boat type marina, those kinds of issues. But again, it's a $15 million cost and questions environmentally of where you put the dredge spoils and where you can dump them. Uh, we had one time towards Alcatraz that no longer exists. Uh, we need to continue to develop our shoreline, uh, keep our recreational assets. You know, we have the dog park proposal that's going on and enhance those who use the shoreline. I certainly use the walk many times uh, during the week. And then the third part is the revenue sustaining what kind of business development. Again, we are down to five master developers, that's my understanding. And so as a city council, we will have to look at those projects. Again, uh, part of that is community participation process, but we must sustain, we are in deficit in our limited fund.